Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of the 2023 Cameo 3201RL. This is gonna be a classic rear living setup, but I think Cameo does an above average job, you know, on appearances, on appearances and kind of bang for your buck. You're gonna get, you know, the hydraulic auto leveling, the solid surface countertops, washer dryer prep, all wrapped up in a pretty good looking package. Now this is a 2023 that kind of slipped through the cracks, so it's been hanging along a little bit longer than average. So if you're looking for a great deal on a rear living coach, uh, the pricing link, including all of the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, will be found down in the description of this video. But I hope you guys like the tour. I'm down at Funtown RV Superstore down at their campground. And uh, I'm gonna be recording about 50 or so RVs this week. So if you guys are digging some content, you know, hit that like and subscribe button and tune in. If you don't like this one, maybe you'll like the next one, you know, a little bit more. Uh, but again, it's the 2023 Cameo 3201RL. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. What I really appreciate about Cameo too is you got an industry that is going super light and bright. Now this is still light and bright, but you notice you have the kind of the darker outlines throughout the unit. So I think it's a good, you know, kind of a cross uh, between both styles. So I think that really kind of appeals to me. And like I was saying, it's a classic rear living setup. So you got a pull out sofa in the back, TV, fireplace, oven, you know, that whole big massive slide. But I like the fact that you get a lot of rainy day, you know, kind of walk around space, that sanity space. What's going to keep you camping, you know, on a little bit longer. If it's going to rain for a day, you know, you're not heading home. You see, you got plenty of walk around room on either side of the island. You also get you know, this pendulant, which I think my wife would absolutely love. It's made out of, uh, you know, kind of that wicker material there. And I know when she sees this, a reminder of that patio set she's been wanting to buy. So babe, if you're watching, don't cost me too much money. I love you. But I just think it looks really nice. You know, another thing that I see when I first walk in is you don't feel cramped up. You have big, tall, high, wide slides. So I'm six feet tall, you know, for reference. And this slide height on here is probably sitting around 6'4", six, 6'5", six, you know, something like that. But again, it just gives you kind of a little bit more of the sanity space. It's just, it's just larger. It feels roomy. You're also going to get really nice size windows. And if you can see here, every single one of these across the entire coach, with the exception of the one here above the oven, opens up for a nice breeze. So a day like today, I'm down in Texas. You know, it is sunny. It's much, much uh, warmer than back home. But man, I could just imagine opening those windows and just having a really good time. You know, you could be sitting down, having some breakfast, playing some euchre. You got two chairs with a bench right over here. So you got, you know, different options for people sitting. You also get a little, you know, kind of a leaf extender right there if you want just a little bit more room. But I could see myself, you know, down at the campground, whooping up on some neighbors, playing some euchre. You also got the Connex charging station so you know plop your phone down on there you're charging so you got power on the go you don't have to worry about you know fumbling around with cords or anything like that each window is also going to be tinted and they all come with the old dracula shade the nightshade baby keeping the old sun from sizzling yeah or skin from sizzling and you know keeping some nosy eyes out you also see you have the recliner what's nice about the recliner is one they're the kind that lay really nice and flat so you can sit down and take a snoozer uh, but the view on them, you know, is pretty nice as well. This is what you're getting on the one on the far right. Sitting back, relaxing, you got a pretty good size 50 inch TV with a built-in sound bar, fireplace. It's a really kind of a cozy little atmosphere. Plus right here, you have some, uh, let me see if I can get in there a little bit. You got a light, <laughs> you have a light and then it's all power recliners. You have a massage and a heat mode. And this thing definitely gets pretty toasty and you also see you got a USB right there as well. A couple cup holders and a place for you to put, you know, some of your stuff. That is fairly deep as well. Heading out the back, if you need to sleep a couple extra funks, folks, if you got the Funkle down at the campground that had a couple too many, or if you got the grandkids with you, you have a sofa here that can pull out and it butts up with about maybe six inches of space or so to the island so you can squeak through. Makes just a, about a full size bed, maybe a queen size bed, something like that. Both sides, you also have countertops for your devices and plugins as well. And then you also get some overhead storage. And I like how they put some accent lighting back there. You know, at night you're coming out, 
maybe you're in movie theater mode or you just want you know kind of a midnight old snack a rooney having those accent lighting there is pretty darn nice you also see you got a fan if you're not popping open the windows you can turn the fan on and circulate some of that air but i mean look how nice looking this is just good looking they, they're working their thing their decor team does a really good job i think you got the Inaflame fireplace so if you're not familiar with that it basically it's a very fancy um, electric space heater and it'll heat up about 400 square feet of rv so an rv this size it'll heat up the entirety of this room you know absolutely no problem and then again we're back to that connex 50 inch tv with the built-in sound bar another place just to drop and plop and catch a charge right there a little bit more storage here up above and i also like how they have the black glass insert right here too just a nice little added touch plus the wood it's looking pretty nice i like how it's got those grooves in there you know sometimes i feel like rvs just get a little bit boring and i think this does a good job of kind of breaking it up so you're also going to get a lot of storage here not only under above and around the oven but this is also going to be a three stovetop burner so you can whip up all the fixings and then you know you got enough room to cook up a couple of chickens in there you got movable shelves adjustable shelving and then this is going to be both left and right so you get a couple drawers and then you know a bigger one down here as well i think that's the same as left and right this one might just be open yeah so that's different shelving right there but uh, nice useful you know kind of storage space the microwave is also going to be a convection so if you want to do some bacon or uh, you know anything like that right there already comes with potato mode and then you flip it around and here you are at the island and again you notice you get a whole bunch of storage you have one of my favorite styles of sink the old farm style sink so it's going to be stainless steel butts right up to the counter i just think it looks really nice and then you have the fancy pants high-rise faucet hitting those dishes from all angles you also get a drying rack here as well and then three of those pull outs so here's going to be your equipment list so you got total msrp of 115.975 and being the fact that it's a 2023 one you know nobody's paying retail these days but two uh, you're going to get a extremely aggressive price but that gives you a good little idea there of you know what kind of packages are on there so you get the second 15 kac six point hydraulic out of leveling i definitely love that but having two 15 kacs is really nice because it's basically just going to keep you cool in even some of the hottest temperatures you know down here in texas middle of winter at 70 degrees having two of those 15 kacs pumping in the middle of summer is definitely going to be you know pretty darn helpful oversized four-door norco refrigerator I like seeing that for the obvious you know it's just more room for more stuff you can pack away a week's worth of food in that thing you know absolutely no problem if you want to pause it on that there's going to be your specs on the fridge but pretty darn snazzy pretty darn nice another thing you're going to get here too which i really enjoy you open up that door you got a really large pantry I mean, I got average arms for a six foot fella, and that's going all the way to about armpit. And then you got two of them, then you even got the floor. You got another place right here, again, solid surface countertops. And what I like about it is you got two little drunk drawers up front you can fill up, and then underneath, clean, cut, and open. Actually, did I open up under here? Yeah, you got some shelving, access to your plumbing pretty snazzy sorry about that a little add moment i'm skipping over stuff pretty cool looking little hexagonal pattern right here and then you got your you know your outlets and then your control for that heat and that ac got a little place i got my camera gear in here right now i just bought a new mic too so if you like it this is it it's the dgi mic 2 i had the mic 1 and it was doing all right but the battery was starting to get a little bit shorter so i have to do a little upgrade generator start to turn on your generator all you're going to do is hold stop or prime for five seconds then flip on over to the start button you also have your controls for your slides and then your two awnings along with the pendulant lighting and the awning lighting and then this right here is where you can check you know all your different tank fills your other control area is going to be right here which is going to feature all of your lights and then your fan which is directly above the oven 
And then right here on this one, you got a little dimmer feature. So I like that. I, again, you're back to kind of movie mode. You got the accent lighting, you dim it down, just create a nice little ambient glow for you. And uh, you know, you're ready to rock down at the campground, having a real good time. You have a fuse box right here, a couple steps with a grab handle to help you get up into the uh, hallway if you do need the help. Another window that opens up with the Dracula shade. And then you got a bathroom uh, that not only is good looking, but you got pretty good space for an RV uh, bathroom, that's for sure. Tri Glide Glass Series, so it's going to open up a little bit wider. You can push that against the wall here, uh, you know, if you'd prefer. That's my preferred way, but you know, this works as well. But the bathroom's got enough move around room. If you wanted to, to get crazy and put two in here, you absolutely could. 300 pounds, six feet tall. Just in the short portion of it, I got about an inch and a half over my head. And then up in the skylight, you know, obviously I got probably about another seven inches or so. You also got a pretty fancy little shower head there. And they even brought that tile work from the, uh, from the kitchen just to kind of match up. Enough countertop space to be dangerous. Looks like you got an on-demand uh, hot water heater, so that's pretty clutch. Which, if you're not familiar with those, uh, basically... It's going to be instant heat and it's going to last as long as you have the propane, but they're going to be a little bit nicer uh, than your, you know, your gas and uh, electric. That's pretty nice. You also get a porcelain foot flush throne. And let's sit down here and kind of show you what I'm looking at. It's not bad. A little cramped over here on this left side, but on the right side, you got plenty of room to make up. Maybe you do the little, little shift of Rooney. There's the control for the Max Air Fan if you want to help suck out, you know, the steam or stink from whatever you're doing. And then into the bedroom, you got a really nice size bed. I would guess that's a king bed. I, you know, you'll know down in that description. I'll put that link down there. You can check that. But it looks like a king bed unless I'm going crazy. But it also has shelving and USBs on either side. And another thing that I like is these are not clicker lights anywhere throughout the Cameo, which is nice. So on both sides, you have control, your individual reading night. My wife is a big time reader. You know, she'll read into the wee hours of the night and that allows her just to be able to turn on her switch, you know, with her short little arms, just right there. You also are gonna see, uh, they come up with the blade. So that's gonna be new to 23 in the RV industry. They say it puts out about 15% more airflow because of the way they kind of twists on the way out. I don't know exactly how true that is. I mean, I've been in them and it, it seems to be true, but I'm not sure how you really gauge that. You got the Coleman Mach, the other 15K. Another Connex TV, and this is going to be on a swivel like the one in the living room. And then you also have a second in a flame, you know, with some dresser drawers underneath. So between the fireplace, the electric fireplace in the kitchen and uh, this one as well, you're going to have really enough electric heat on the day where it's 40, 45 degrees, no problem. No problem though. A separate door into either a closet or you can put a stackable washer and dryer because you are prepped up for it and you got enough room. So a little bit more of a residential feel there. You also got the mirror to check out the old bowling gun, baby. Two weeks into my bowling league, two weeks into being stressed. We're, <laughs> we're doing good as a team, but your boy, after about four months of rust, um, it's not like riding a bike apparently. I've lost my touch a little bit, but I'm gonna get it back. So I also like how this, if you can see, you know, I could imagine you could figure out a way to do a chair right here. Probably use this little desk if you needed to in a pinch. But um, yeah, I hope you guys dig the tour. Uh, you're also activate 4G and LTE, so that's nice. You hit up a uh, gateway, get that installed, then call like 18 t or Verizon, you know, and you're ready to rock. But I think that about does it here for the inside portion of this tour. Again, this is the 2024 2023 Cameo 3201RL. Now I'm going to go around the outside, spend a couple of minutes there, show you where everything is located. And then I'm going to keep on moving. I got so many units to do. I'm pumped. It's also a lot going on. So uh, yeah, all the specifications along with that pricing link are down in that description. Uh, right away, you have two awnings. So this is going to be your campsite. You got the slide here. They have an awning here and an awning there. So it really helps you utilize this area, you know, if you're playing some, you know, some cornhole or something like that. Also up on the front, you got the blue LED lights to help you get in and out, you know, at night during the day. Doesn't show up too well on the camera, 
but at night it really kind of shines up like justice. But you got the Kurt Rotoflex, which is going to be on a pivot, so that will um, you know kind of release some of that chucking and bucking, making for a little bit more of a comfortable drive for you. And then right there is going to be your cutout for a generator if you choose to. And then you got a place for uh, you know a battery or two if you'd like to do that, along with your disconnects and some of your hydraulic fluids. Propane behind this door. You are going to get prepped for the Furion three camera safety system. So that's nice. You're going to get a camera here um, if you install it on the other side and then heading out the back. But what's nice is this is kind of the view you're getting while you're driving down the road. Helps eliminate some of those blind spots. Propane, massive pass through storage. And I like how they have linoleum on the floor. It also shows off the fact that it's welded at all points and it has that aluma foil there up front too. You got a couple water filters, outlet and a place to plug in your TV. The entry steps are the kind that flip up into the doorway and right here are going to be your marine grade outside speakers as well. Again, you do have the tinted windows, dual axle, and then your plug-in is in the back which is nice for your campgrounds too along with the receiver so you can do you know, bike rack or some extra storage, you know, whatever you got to do there. And then right there is going to be the prep for the Furion observation camera. So four and a half inch screen, suction cup that bag boy right onto your windshield and you're ready to rock. If you get the three camera safety system, it should go up to a seven inch. A ladder to get on top of your fully walkable roof, check your seals, check your slides. Speaking of slides, you can get a slide topper if you would like. It's basically a piece of awning that goes from here to here. It really helps kind of protect your investment and you know, keep debris off the top of that. Your alternative would be climbing up there and brushing it off each time. That's gonna be your low point drain right there. And then you see it's all heated and enclosed underbelly, which is nice. Again, just kind of helping you get into maybe a little bit of colder water or colder weather if you'd like. Let me open this, need a little two hand action back end of that pass through storage and then your docking station. So we're going to hook up, you know, your different water. You got your black tank flush, which is a sprinkler system there, you know, for your poop tank. You also got your gray tank and black tank uh, plugs right there. I also like how it opens up to get on the outside. You're wired for solar and there's going to be the control for your leveling there as well. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hit that like and subscribe button. Again, this is the 2023 Cameo. 3201RL. My name is Hunter. Have a great day. See ya.